Welcome back to my next Big Bang Theory Season 10 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important if you aren't caught up to the point where I am and re-watching or watching The Big Bang Theory, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description if that happens to be the case. You find out that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be The Big Bang Theory, Season 10, Episode 7. The title of this episode is called The Vera City, Elastic City. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. So, we have another Fun With Flags episode, a joint Fun With Flags episode with uh, Sheldon and Amy. And Howard and Raj have a musical spot during it. And Sheldon mentions they're filming at their friend Penny's place and they're living together. Uh, Bernadette, Leonard, and Penny are watching from the laptop at, well, Leonard and Sheldon's place. And Penny says, I can't believe I'm saying this, but can we watch the news or something? Leonard says they're having fun living together. And then Bernadette mentions that Amy's apartment has been ready, but she's lying uh, to Sheldon to continue living with him. Uh, Amy's always man manipulating Sheldon and having him believe things. That's why I think she's a bad character for the show. Like, Sheldon wasn't Sheldon anymore once he started, uh, you know, doing things with Amy. I mean, there was a good moments here and there, but, like, uh, Sheldon is a completely different character from where he was at the beginning of the show. But anyway, uh, Sheldon thanks Howard and Raj for their services, and no, they're not getting paid for this. And Sheldon mentions going to Amy's to grab dinner in that area. And uh, he also mentions complaining to our landlord, like, let's get this thing clean. And Amy has to, like, keep detracting and like, changing the subject. And Sheldon actually figures this out. Like, are you changing the subject? But then she mentions something that he's very interested in. He's like, well, I have no choice now. And then Sheldon tells the guys he's concerned about Amy as she's been acting rather odd lately. And Howard wonders what registers uh, as odd to him. That's a very good question. Her behavior, Sheldon says. And Sheldon says he shared his body with her and his Netflix password with her. Leonard tells Sheldon her apartment is ready. Oh, boy. Howard tells Leonard that Penny's secretly been moving Leonard's collectibles into storage. That's something that Bernadette told him. And then Penny, while carrying groceries, asks Amy about her apartment. And just random questions like trying to get Amy to slip up. She knows already, obviously. And then a a Penny tells Amy uh, that Bernadette told her about the apartment. And then uh, they're, they're in the uh, Leonard and Sheldon's place now. And like Leonard and Sheldon, so Penny defends saying that she went to Amy's apartment and it's, there's, it's a construction site or whatever it was. And then Leonard and Sheldon start speaking Klingon and then Amy and Penny start speaking their own language. And then eventually Leonard just says, I t tells Amy that he told Sheldon about her apartment being done. But Sheldon actually agrees to continue the experiment of living with Amy and Sheldon's struggling with the thought of leaving his old bedroom. And then Sheldon actually has a dream that Leonard and Penny turned his old room into a sex dungeon. Now that's hilarious. The guys go to the comic book store. They talk about some more stuff. And then Penny tells Leonard to open his eyes and he sees his new room. And then we see that Leonard has taken some stuff out of his room that Penny put in there and puts him in the closet of Penny's apartment. And while Sheldon's sitting there on the couch, he says, don't tell Penny. And that's what ends this episode of the Big Bang Theory. So pretty good episode. I'm going to score this one a 7.9 out of 10. The character of the episode, it was kind of difficult. Like there's many people that could have some consideration for it. Amy, uh, Leonard, uh, even Penny. But I'm going to give it to Sheldon in this one. And then as many of you know, I also rate Penny because that's the reason why I started watching The Big Bang Theory and one of the reasons why I continued to watch The Big Bang Theory. So in this one, I'm going to give Penny a 9.0 out of 10. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of The Big Bang Theory and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please consider Hulk smashing the like button. And keep in mind, I cover a lot of stuff on this channel. I just don't call, talk about The Big Bang Theory. 
If you go to my playlist, you can see all the stuff I talk about. You can see UFC live fight reaction. Okay, maybe that's not your thing. Uh, Walking Dead content, Dexter content, Breaking Bad content, Game of Thrones stuff, uh, movie ranking videos, franchise ranking videos. I cover a lot of stuff, so there's got to be something else on the channel that you like. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of The Big Bang Theory. What would you rate the episode? And who would be your character of the episode? And if you want to do what I do and rate Penny, you can certainly do that in the comment section. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Join the team, share your damn support, and be a part of something special. And you never know what you're going to see on JDev TV.